Good morning. So we thought we'd better put the camera on because we've actually been studying each other for about 15 minutes with Amy about everything, about cleaning as well, which doesn't usually come naturally to me. So we've got Christine with us today, also known as Winnick Mum. Hey, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, um, yeah Winnick, which is only about a mile in that direction. Um, in fact, it's probably might even be less than that. I'm not it's sure. Not, it's, not, not, it's not, not far, far at all, is it? And we brought Christine in um, to talk about this. New colours, Christine's colours in signature four ply. But first, socks. I'm a new sock convert. I'm just on my second sock. It's taken a long time to get me there and I'm really enjoying it. But you just said you really only do now do socks. Pretty, pretty much. And what switched you on to socks? I don't know. I absolutely don't know. If you, if, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Mm. And uh, all I can say is that it's a bit like uh, a dog with a bone. And once it's got it, it's not letting go. <laughs> and for lots of people, there is something that they that they like. So it might be shawls, it might be jumpers, it might be baby jackets, and, and it, it becomes a, a a bit of an obsession, I suppose. For, for <laughs> it's for, fair to say, for it's for a better word. And for me, it's just the socks. Um, I love that they're so. Uh, easy to make, they're so portable. I've always got one in the car, there's usually one in my pocket if I'm going out. And <laughs> they, can, they can be really plain and simple, or they, you can put patterns in them. So so they're, they're, they're great for trying out all kinds of skills. And, and as soon as you finish one pair, there's, oh, there's more yarn, and oh, there's another pattern. And yeah, that's, I must have been, I, that's, I, that's I, I do have four balls of sock yarn on the table at home, which bear in mind I've not finished my first pair yet. I'd be a bit, enthusi a bit too enthusiastic. No, no, it's always good to have the next yeah. project lined up. So, so how long ago was the first sock? Uh, it would be probably now about 11, 12 years ago. Because very bizarre, yeah. Christine and I knew each other for a long time before we knew each other knitted. We and did. I remember bumping into you in here and it was like, oh, hello. Yes, we did, we did. <laughs> that does happen quite a lot, generally now with people I know from the local supermarket and so on. So, and who was the first sock for? It was for my husband. Um, mostly because um, I actually didn't know whether I would like knitted socks because they're quite different to the ones that you buy. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're thicker. Yeah. Um, and I'm a bit like, uh, like the, the princess and the pea. I can't stand anything at all in my socks that's not going to be comfortable. So, so oh, I don't know if I like the feel. I don't know if I like the toes. Whereas he, he, he just wears them and get, oh, gets on with it. That's always been my hesitation on socks is that I'm not sure. I tend to wear cotton socks. Mm. Um, I also don't wear matching socks. And yeah, never. I, I just life's too short. The kids do, and Matt does, but life's too short to match my socks, so I just have a bag in the drawer. That's, that's all right. They just wouldn't go on my feet, but they can go. On yeah, my feet. yeah. So, and I, and I wasn't, but actually, the pair that I'm knitting at the minute after I wore one on Saturday night when I finished the first one, I really, really loved mm. it. it I, th I think because because they are thicker, you get used to them, and then after a while, once you've worn these, then the the the, the very thin socks that you've bought, they just feel very thin and, yeah, and, yeah, and can... because they're wool then they're cosier, they keep your feet warmer, they also keep them cooler in the summer and you just, once you wear hand knits you don't want to go back <laughs> to ball socks again, that's just how it is. Yeah. So yeah then, so you knitted socks at home alone? Yes. Yeah, for quite a few years? Yes. And yeah. then the book? Well, in between that, that, in between that, there was there was the blog. Um, yes. Which which started which was in the yeah, church mag. So, yes. So that was the church magazine, and then gradually I decided that I was going to put more things uh, on there, and, and because I was knitting socks a lot anyway, then then they ended up on there as well, and and um, and, and uh, started putting a couple of basic patterns on just just to just just to because I could really yeah because I thought I'd, I'd see how it went, and I I'd, I'd, I'd knitted lots of patterns, and I thought I'd give it a go, and then. Um, I think because because there are so many self-striping yarns that just look fabulous on, on a plain sock on their own, you don't always need to put a pattern in them. No, so, no. So that makes them much more accessible for people who don't want to mess about with putting lace or cables or, or anything like that. You know, they might feel a bit a bit nervous about it because for for some reason this bit here, this 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 heel, it really it, you know, yeah. People, people worry about it before they get to it, so that stops them even starting here or starting <laughs> there if they if they prefer that. My very just, first sock I got to about there and didn't actually venture on this bit but yeah. I'm now yeah second time now now so because, yeah because because what happens is you you overthink this bit and, yeah and then you know you put yourself off before before you've even started but and so many people were saying to me oh it's too hard it's too hard I, I can't do it and I, and I was at a, a knit and after session it was a January in 2015 <laughs> and about the for some reasons like the 15 16 people in that week had said to me it's too hard I can't knit socks and I said right that's it that's it and the arms everything <laughs> arms I said, I'm, I'm gonna write some tutorials I'm gonna put them on the blog I'm gonna call them the sock along and that's it yeah. I'm gonna show everybody how easy it is 
Uh, and then the, the fatal thing about saying something like that in the middle of a knit and that's a group is that you've actually got to go and yes. do it then. Um, so, so I did and, the, uh, and then the sock along happened late, later on that year. And then because not everybody can or, or wants to be online all the time, it made sense to take the information from, from the, the blog tutorials and then put them in a book. But I still wanted to leave the tutorials on the blog for free so yes. that anybody, yep. anybody yep. at all can, can get them. I, you know, I'd, I would much rather if someone's got the money to buy the book or buy the yarn, I'd much rather that they went and bought the yarn, got started, saw that it's not hard and, and, and just got all the well-being benefits from, from knitting. Yes. Because there's something about these, these little circles that become quite mindless and you, know, you can free your mind and, and, uh, and, and it's, it's definitely mindful knitting and I, and I love that. But it doesn't suit everybody to be online or read from a tablet, so that's that's why why the book happened. Stupid, they've um, not got a copy of the book on the table, which I should have, because I'm using the book like my Bible at the moment. Um, and no, it so. is, and it's been really... The only bit I did mess, my, mess up myself was I was following the instructions for short circulars and then couldn't work out where on the toe I was, and then it's like, well, actually, you're not still following the, the instructions for the short circulars. You seem to have swapped patterns oh, midway, really? <laughs> and I couldn't work out why you weren't telling me to change my needles and so on. It's like... Surely this bit next to you, and then I went, ah, that'll um, be me then. Yeah. yeah. Well, but it should, in, in theory, it should all work out because because the, it's the same pattern. It's just written for three yes, different yeah. needle types. But but I think sometimes when it is your first sock and you're so focused on trying to do everything and and, try, and trying to think about about how it works and what's coming next, then then you you need it all spelled out. Yeah. No, it, yeah. It, it, it's been brilliant for me. It's been what am I now? Two and am I two and a half weeks down, Amy? I think I am. So on to my second, and I think I should actually have that second sock finished in the next couple of minutes. Excellent. That's yeah, really I find if I say things on video, I have to do it as well. Funny, so funny yeah, that works, <laughs> <laughs> and so I tend to show my UFOs and stuff like that because it means I've got to finish them at some point. Mm -hmm. So then, lots of designs you've designed, yeah. and I know you've designed for West Yorkshire spinners. You've done quite a few socks for them. I do, I've done, I've done three socks for, for for them. I've done two Christmas socks and yeah. the, the, the simple rib socks. Um, so there's there's been been a relationship with them for for quite a while because I just love their yarn. It's it's they're just lovely oh, people as well. They're such yeah. nice people. Yeah, and and their their values fit my values. So yes. if I was yeah. um, uh, in in on, on on a wish list, you know, uh, the, all of the things about them and their yarn mm. and what they did. If I could ever have had my own yarn, then that's that's what they did. And when that's you what I and wanted. I know you've done this when you go around the West Yorkshire Spinners factory. It just blows my mind. I've also never been in a cleaner factory in my entire it's life. Yeah, it it's is. Amazing. And I always, yeah, and whenever I go over, it's very much that feeling of a family business. Definitely. And they really care about the people that are there. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. We went over, went round one Christmas, and the big boss was wandering around and um, giving everybody their Christmas pay packet and shaking hands and yeah. having a chat. And you just think, that's a really nice yes. thing to do. Yes, and the last time that I was there, I was I was walking around with him, and he would we would either wave to everybody or he'd stop, and he knew something about yes. everybody. Yes, yeah, and that That's, is a, that yeah. is so so important because they're they're not just people who are coming no. and doing the job no. and going. They are all all, all yeah. part of of, of, of the West Yorkshire Spinners family, yeah. really. And I love we are that. very lucky. There's a lot of that. lovely companies out there. Mm. So, but yeah, the, I mean, and but this is the sock yarn, isn't it? This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, this, uh, um, so this is the, 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 the Winnick Mum collection, which yes. is the, 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 the new addition to their signature four ply range. And um, where's the inspiration come from then? Well, it's come from it's come from the blog really. My my blog is a, a strap line it is looking for the extraordinary in the everyday. Yes. Uh, because I was always brought up to to look a bit further than just what I can see in front of me. So so if we were out and about, then I'd be told to look up and look at the architecture or look around and see the trees or, or the flowers, or, as well as look where you're putting your feet because you, <laughs> you might stand in something. So I've always been brought up to be trying to look around around and see, see more than just what's, at, what's uh, right in front of my face. So, so that, that's where it came from, really. And this, this was the first one that they, they produced for me. And um, it, it came from... Came from this pebble here. It's always in my pocket. This this amethyst pebble, and I, I just love it. And I love that. That I mean that the is so. That's just incredible, isn't it? It's it's perfect. And when and when it's when it's knitted up, the way that the stripes go, yeah, it's just it's just magic. But the the thing about the thing about an amethyst is that it's a piece of rock, and and you could you could you could just look at it as a stone. It's yes. not until you start to look underneath and really look at what's there that that you that you know that there's anything and actually what's in there is really beautiful so by the time it's, it's been polished yeah. up and it's been 
it's been cut then it's say that it's, is, that's incredible so that color what's the name of that color? this this is it's hidden gem because, hidden gem because that's, perfect that's, that's what what an amethyst is wildflower this one is and this is walks with the dog uh local local oh, walks this. local walks with, <laughs> i can with, imagine where with, you've with, seen this with, then yeah with, well actually any, anywhere so so um uh beauty meadows and yeah and sanking is one of them cultured linear park yeah. is another one and We've got bluebells and blue sky and, the and the bluebells in the linear park they at the moment are amazing, beautiful. Yeah, they really are. are. And we've got primroses, the green of the trees. The I, these are my sort of colours. I absolutely love those colours. I'm, I'm, I love this one. This, and yeah. And this, this, this was the the, the first sample that that, that that came through. That we, we had a couple of goes to get to get this one, and then once we got this one, then then um, uh, that that was it. Then everything just flowed on and. and and so for me, it was it worked better that I got each ball as it was produced. I wasn't presented with all right, the balls okay. to have to then go. Oh, <laughs> where do I start? So, so with this one, this was the first sample that came through, and I said, "Oh, per absolutely perfect, straight as it is," because because it's all very well to to hand over the colours and say this is what I'd like, but but in in production, I hadn't realised that there are there are certain rules that you have to follow yes. in, in the way that the dye goes and the way that the the, the way that it all works, and so. The, the way that the, um, uh, the the dye house manager has been able to put this th together, yeah, for, for, it's just stunning. Absolutely love it. I'm guessing that's an obvious point of inspiration um, in some ways. Yes, yes. This is this is this is seascape. Yeah, and th this this one's actually childhood holidays. We always used to go to the same village in Wales, right? Um, and the sea is not always this colour. <laughs> well. Sometimes it's an interesting grey colour. And I have paddled in my wellies because it was too blooming cold to paddle in bare feet. Um, but then some days you you would go and the sea is a beautiful colour. Um, yes. And it's like yeah. it's like it's like that it's like that anywhere. So I have I have a whole series of memories from you know paddling in the rain and being in an igloo with the with the windbreaks and tarpaulins to. to I think we've all been there uh, on the British summer holiday. Well, there, there we go. So well, to to you know to to it being just the best weather and you wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world so that I, was there was I think a, i think i think that i think that might be real but they, they there is a picture is somewhere it, isn't there. it is it there yes and this is there it is and this okay. is um Porth and klein beach on the clin peninsula that's not quite where we stay but it's very very yeah. it's very very close and that's why we put, we put the picture on. We used to walk round to round to this beach so i have played on this beach as a as a <laughs> as a, as a, as a, as a tiddler. Um, and that's that's where it came from. So it's a, it's about childhood memories. It's about seasides. And I've spoken to lots of people who said, "Oh, it was yes. my holiday when I went to yes. the Caribbean, or I went to some place in France." Yeah. Because it, it I, I think particularly the sea speaks to so many of us in in such a good yes. way. And, and and particularly when we were small, because. because you know, because Being able to hear the sea and so on and watch it is one of the most relaxing yes. things, isn't and it? And the smell and, and, yeah. and the seagulls and the fish and chips. Fish and chips, <gasps> yeah. Yes. All, of, all of those things. So that's where that one came from. And then this one is? Bright side. And th this one came about, I was actually thinking about my husband who, who would only wear black socks. I've managed <laughs> finally, finally to, to get him in, into some stripes. So so I was thinking of something that was a bit more muted, that, that would, but was still colourful, yes. that, 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 that he, he might be persuaded to wear um, and the name came about because again thinking about the blog um, that there's, there's often a bright side if, yeah if, you know after after all the darkness and we all have dark times and yeah and you know bad times and it feels like you know the, the bottom's dropped out of the world and it's never going to go away but but for every bad thing then there has to be a good thing that yes. balances so yeah. there is a bright side and also when I was when I was naming this then my youngest daughter was completely obsessed with the killer song so there may have been some sort of you know, messaging going, going on there with, with the song Mr Brightside. Yeah, I'm singing um, it in my head, I must yeah. admit. Yeah, I'm remembering every day I've ever been to towards the end of the night when people are jumping up and down. Well, but, but this, is, this, this, this is lovely and lots of people have told me that they're knitting it for brothers, for uncles. Yes. So, and so it's not, it's not particularly a, a man's sock, but I do like to think that it might be something that they might choose to wear if they didn't didn't want the brights with, with the pins. So, so there's something yeah. for everybody hopefully. I've got that one at home I must admit I think Matt's looking at that one mm. for his net one of his pairs of socks apparently because I'm not allowed to just make one pair. No 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 you need at least two one to yeah. wash and one to wear. <laughs> You and then the pattern that. book as well, <laughs> which just has some of the most incredible patterns in the beautiful. Oh, thank you. Now, I need to ask a question, and this is a selfish question, because I really like those socks. Yes. How did 
difficult are they? It's got mm. cables on it, if you can see down They're there. They're not so. cables, actually. They are mock cables. So oh, they... no, there is no cable needle needed ah. at all. And all of these patterns are written for adventurous beginners. That's how I like to think about people. Okay. People who've knitted a basic sock. Yeah. So, so you only need to knit a plain sock so that you know how it works. Yes. And there, there is a plain sock pattern in the back. Yeah. That mix and match the, the heels so that you can choose a different choose the heels that you might you might like that mm. suit your feet or, or or suit your style. But if you can knit a plain one and you understand how a sock works, then you can do any of these. Because I do, really I, ju I just absolutely love that pattern. There are other fabulous patterns in here, but that one really really speaks to me. I think it's great. So it, it's just it's just about being brave and just having a go. Because it's only yarn and pointy sticks, and the worst thing that happens is that you unravel it and you start again. That's In very which case, true. A lifeline is your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good with lifelines. I tend to get my lifeline and tends to get tangled up when I put a lifeline in. Mm -hmm. I'm a good one for a lot of stitch markers, but I don't know. I never seem to be able to take it back as nicely as I should feel I should be able to. Well, I use quilting cotton, which is very thin. Yeah, yes. And uh, some people use dental floss, which is also See, also dental thin. floss I think I might have to try, because I've just done it with normal cotton up till now, and right. it just gets, seems to get too tangled. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. if you just if you just put it in, in around your stitches, and then and then I'd, yeah. I'd pull it a bit so that it doesn't it wouldn't yeah. snap, and then i just tie a knot, and then, and then keep, yeah. keep going. Maybe it's easier on a smaller thing as well, yeah. rather than having a big maybe thing. Maybe so than a big one. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been received so well, and you must be delighted. I am absolutely thrilled. It's been it, it's been incredible. It's it's been lovely to 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 hear people's stories when they've looked at the picture and said, oh yeah, that makes me think of, because it, it's it's so nice to be able to share these things. Yeah. Um, but also, I love that people are going into their yarn shops and buying it because it you know it's helping the yarn yeah. shops. I, I love that it's British wool. It's helping it's helping the farmers. It's helping yeah. the mill. It's helping the local people who are working in the West Yorkshire Spinners Mill. Um, I, I love it. I, I love that it, 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 it works for everybody. It's just brilliant. And what was it like seeing the first, somebody's, because I know you've been now starting to get socks that have been knitted up mm. by people. What was it like seeing the first one? Um, <laughs> well, I might have been a bit emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, deservedly so. Oh, it, it's, ju it's, just a, it's just amazing. And it's, it's lovely to see people having conversations about it uh, on social media. So somebody might say, oh, you know, I've started this in this sock and somebody else will go, oh, I like that colour. And they've gone, oh, it's such and such and, you know, it's seascape or it's wildflower and I really like it because, yeah. and th there's always a reason why why they like it or, um, and, 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 and that, that lets somebody else share their story. I, I love that. I absolutely love that. And will we see more colours? Well, I mean, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Christine. Thank you for coming in today. So. Oh, thank you. It's been nice to talk to you.